John Hall of Orleans fame explains what was missing in the song Still the One. And we have a clip from Jerry Murata on this song as well. Wink, wink. I'm John Bowden from Rock History Music. Chuck Plotkin was the producer for the song Still the One. An uplifting tune that's still getting so much airplay today. But John Hall explains what was missing in the song. And we'll hear from drummer Jerry Murata right after. Did you know you had something? I mean... Yeah, we did, but you know, who, who knew was Chuck Plotkin, the producer who David Geffen had hired to be head of A&R at Asylum Records. And um, and so we cut Dance With Me three times, and we cut Still The One three times, not because we wanted to, the band, we you know, we didn't want to. It was Chuck who thought it needed to be cut again, and again after that, because he knew something was missing. And... Um, you know, it's important to have a producer or some kind of collaborator for most artists and most bands, uh, somebody who can look at things objectively and not be, you know, so close to the forest that they can't see the trees. So with Still the One, for instance, you know, we recorded that originally with Wells Kelly, our our drummer uh, from the beginning with Orleans and, and Larry and Lance Hoppin and myself and also... Uh, Terry Murata was the drummer who was playing with us on that record and did that tour with us. And he had played with Peter Gabriel, all these other wonderful people. And, and uh, you know, from the drumming drummer family with Rick Murata, and, you know, they're, they're both extraordinary drummers. But Chuck heard it the first time and went, that's not the right feel. It's got, you know, Dwells was playing a shuffle like da 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 you know, we've been together since way back. Da, 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 da. And it was just, there was something too. Wells was supposed to play on Still the One. He, you know, Wells was really the drummer. Yeah. I was the, I was the extra guy. We wound up doing it a second time. And then with both Wells and Jerry playing drums. And we had two drum kits set up in the studio. We, you know, we played a bunch of double drumming uh, songs. We did double drumming. When a third time, Chuck said, let's try it with just Jerry playing drums. And and everybody else went out for lunch, and Jerry and Chuck and I were in the studio and just working on the kick drum part, like the kick and hi-hat and bass part. And uh, we finally got that, got that down to this very straight beat that just goes through the entire song. So I think what happened was I came from a from a New York – my brother was a, was a was like the one of the top drummers in New York. You know, I learned – how to play orchestrate drums on a record, you know, solid, simple, grooving, don't play all over the place, couple fills here, there, you know what I mean? Yeah. I knew that from growing up watching my brother. I learned that. And then Wells came back in and played percussion, and and uh, I played guitar, and, and uh, Larry played that upbeat kind of reggae-ish piano on it, and the song fell together after that, he was the only guy that knew that that was the groove that would be necessary for it to be the big hit that it was. You play the drum beat. You're not playing all over the place. Just throw down the groove. And also, there was debate on that record. I mean, we knew that Reach a Little Bit Higher was a really good song, and Spring Fever was on that record. Really good song. Really strong tunes. And we were going, I don't know, maybe this should be the single. The first single. And Chuck was going, you're nuts. Still yeah. the one is the first single. You know, sorry. And, of course, he was right. That's why Gaffin hired him to be head of A&R. And uh, we were just lucky that we were working with a producer that could. Every moment of that was just, you know, again, I'm 18, 19. But I'm on the road. I mean, I'm on the road playing. And even before Orleans, like I said, I went out on the road when I was 17, you know. I was really, I was really young. We'll have more from John Hall coming up next week. Make sure you comment on our video, subscribe to our channel, and share our videos. And buy a t-shirt, help support the channel. I'm John Bowden from Rocky Stream Music. Mm -hmm.